Hello dear students, welcome again. In this video, I am going to discuss MCQ questions based on macroeconomics. As you know, macroeconomics is taught in BCom, BBA, MBA. In several programs, macroeconomics is part of the syllabus. So dear students, this video is going to be helpful for, for all those students who are student of these courses like BA, BCom, BBA, MBA and several other competitive examination. And in this video, dear students, I have made questions, MCQ questions based on these topics which are usually a part of uh, the syllabus of any uh, macroeconomics program. So let us begin with the first question without wasting much time. The first question is the word macro is derived from macros. This word macros, a dash word, which, which from which language this word is derived? Latin, Spanish, Greek, French. The correct answer is Greek word. Macros is a Greek word and from this word macro is derived. Next question, which economist is not included in the classical school of thought? Adam Smith, Malthus, Keynes, J.S. Mill. Correct answer here is Keynes as Adam Smith Malthus and Mill are the uh, scholars of classical school of thought. Next question. Marshall wrote the book Introduction to Economics, Principles of Economics, Classical Economics, Microeconomic Theory. Marshall wrote the book Principles of Economics. Next question. Who said that economics is a science of wealth? Famous definition, yes, Adam Smith, Ricardo, Alfred Marshall, A.C. Pegu. The correct answer is Adam Smith. It was Adam Smith who said economics is a science of wealth. Macroeconomics and microeconomics, these terms were coined by Ragnar Frisch, Ragnar Fisher, Alfred Marshall, Adam Smith. The correct answer is Ragnar Frisch who coined these uh, two terms macroeconomics and microeconomics in the field of economics. Macroeconomics and microeconomics were coined in which year? 1919, 1925, 1930, 1933. The word, these words were coined in 1933 by Ragnar Frisch. Dash is the founding father of macroeconomics. John Maynard Keynes, John Balding, Robertson, Adam Smith. In fact, it is John Maynard Keynes who popularized macroeconomics and he is treated as founding father of macroeconomics. Macroeconomics is the study of DASH or DAS covering the entire economy, individual, person, basic individual, aggregates, averages, none of the above. Correct answer is macroeconomics is the study of aggregates or averages covering the entire economy. So C is the correct answer. Macroeconomics is also known as price analysis, inflation analysis, income analysis, investment analysis. In fact, the main focus of macroeconomics is income determination. So it is also known as income analysis. Macroeconomics does not study aggregate investment, total saving, aggregate consumption, product price. So in macroeconomics, we study all these three, first three, but we do not study product price, which is part of microeconomics study. World economics, word economics has been derived from oikonomia, which is a word of the language, which from which language this word is derived, Latin, French, Spanish, Greek, again, this oikonomia is a Greek word and from where the word economics is derived. 
Adam Smith belonged to England, Ireland, Scotland, USA. Adam Smith was a Scottish, so he was from Scotland. Who was the founder of classical school of thought? Alfred Marshall, Adam Smith, J.S. Mill, J.M. Keynes. No doubt it is. It was Adam Smith who is treated as founding father of classical school of thought and he is also treated as father of modern economics which is not part of macroeconomics public finance international trade national income consumer behavior so a consumer behavior which is not a studied under macroeconomics but public finance international trade national income are part of macroeconomics the problem of unemployment comes under discussion of microeconomics, macroeconomics, monetary economics, industrial economics. So problem of unemployment no doubt is a part of macroeconomic study. The next macroeconomics as a separate branch came to be studied after the contributions of which economist? Adam Smith, John Maynard Keynes, F. Hike, Samuelson. Correct answer is J.M. Keynes who popularized macroeconomics and after him only uh, this uh, macroeconomics became a separate branch and it was very much popularized by J.M. Keynes. When did the Great Depression hit the United States? 2007, 1, 1929, 1936, 2001. So Great Depression hit United States in 1929 when millions of people lost the job. Macroeconomics is a study of economics that deals with which four sectors household firms, government, demand and supply, household firms, government and external sector, firms, government, free market and regulation, none of the above. Correct answer is household firms, government and external sector. These are the four sectors which is studied in macroeconomics mainly. Macroeconomic Theory is that part of economics which studies the overall averages and aggregates of the system. The definition was given by Hayek, Shapiro, Balding, Mankey. The definition was given by, this definition was given by Balding, Kenneth Balding. Next, macroeconomics deals with the functioning of the economy as a whole. This, this definition was given by Hayek, Shapiro, Balding, Mankey. This definition was given by, sorry, it was given by Shapiro. This definition was given by Shapiro, not Mankey, sorry. Next, macroeconomics is concerned with the problems of unemployment, economic fluctuations, economic growth, all of the above. So macroeconomics is concerned with unemployment, fluctuations, economic growth, all the three. So all of the above is the correct answer. Which one is are the macroeconomic goal, goals or objectives? Partial stability for employment, equitable income distribution, steady economic growth, all of the above. These all are the macroeconomic goals and objectives. So all of the above, the correct answer. D. Demand side unemployment is partly caused by imperfections in the labor market, occupational and geographic immobility of factors, demographic changes, a lack of aggregate demand. So no doubt demand side unemployment is partly caused by lack of aggregate demand. Major macroeconomic trade-offs are, trade-off simply means uh, the situation wherein if you want to achieve one thing, you lose something else. So unemployment versus inflation, this is one of the trade-offs. Economic growth versus inflation, this is also a trade-off. Economic growth versus balance of payments, this here again, this is a trade-off. So all are the macroeconomic trade-offs, all of the above. High income inequality may cause dash economic growth in the long run. Faster economic growth, slower economic growth, balanced economic growth, none of the above. In fact, high income inequality, if there is income inequality in the long run, it 
may slow down the economic growth. So slower growth rate, B is the correct answer. Overheated economy may lead to dash inflation. Overheated simply means when the economy is working to the capacity level, its full capacity. So at that time may lead to high inflation, low inflation, stable inflation. So certainly it will lead to high inflation if the economy is working to the capacity level. Dash consumption expenditure may lead to high BOP deficit. Higher consumption, lower consumption, stable consumption. So correct answer here again is higher consumption expenditure may lead to high balance of payment deficit because you will be consuming whatever is produced within the economy and you will be importing more. So that will lead to BOP deficit. Next, rapid growth may lead to dash decreasing pollution, sustainable pollution, increasing pollution, none of the above. So correct answer is increasing if growth is more income generation will be more and that lead to production will be more so it will lead to increasing pollution in the economy an increase in autonomous saving leads to a decrease in aggregate demand and thus a decrease in gross output which will in turn lower total saving as called paradox of plenty paradox of thrift wage unemployment paradox none of the above it is paradox of thrift so in fact at individual level if one individual is saving saving will go up but if all individual start saving total saving will fall down that is known as paradox of thrift next following is are the limitations of macroeconomics fallacy of composition treating aggregates as homogeneous excessive generalization all of the above here correct answer is all of the above are limitations of macroeconomics fallacy of composition and it is treating aggregates as homogeneous excessive generalization all are the limitations of macroeconomics following is our importance of macroeconomics macroeconomics helps in formulation of economic policy helps in study of trade cycles indiscriminate use of macroeconomics misleading international it helps in international comparison so the under the importance for a b and d are the importance but this is in fact the limitation of macroeconomics so this is not important c is the correct answer so thank you so much students for watching thank you do subscribe my channel press the bell icon for more notification of latest MCQ videos. Thank you so much.